Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come in and run my mouth and talk about the mess. Whew, you know, today is the uh, the aftermath. <laughs> today is the day, af- the day after that disastrous day, <laughs> the day that will go down in history. <laughs> hey! Um, you know, I was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping, hoping that when I woke up that uh, we would have had a defiance moment. (laughs) For those who don't know what a defiance moment is, there was this television show called Scandal. (laughs) And it was on for about six or seven seasons. I'm actually re-watching the the, uh, show right now. I think this is like my third or fourth time watching. And uh, it was Kerry Washington and then a whole bunch of other people. Great actors, great actresses. Um, Shonda Rhimes production. And long story short, in order for the president to win the election, Greta had to do a little, <laughs> they had to do a little rigging, you know. <laughs> they had to get, you know, they had to, you know, they had to do what they had to do <laughs> in order to get what they want, you know. And uh, so they fixed some of the machines <laughs> to get their boy into the old office. It was uh, Carrie, who played Olivia Pope, and then Melly, Cyrus, uh, Hollis, Verna. Yeah. They had to do what they had to do. (laughs) And I was hoping that today we had a real-life Olivia and a real-life Verna and a real-life Melly in a real life Hollis, in a real life Cyrus, girl floating around somewhere in DC, pulling a stunt in a show. (sighs) But this is real life, and this is not a TV show, even though it looks like one. Um, Yeah, so that's where we are today. I hope everybody's doing okay. I I know for some of you, um, I've been reading as many comments as I could un- under the uh, last video that I posted. And some of you are, you know, y- we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. We, you know, we're going to be okay. Um, but I hope everybody is doing as best as they can with the results. You know, like I, like I said, you know, not to sound um, like a pessimist, but I, you know, on this side, I already kind of was preparing myself um for the outcome like i'll tell you this much when hillary lost honey i didn't know what was going but when i said my head was spinning girl my head was spinning that was like because i just didn't think (laughs) i just didn't think that there was a chance for her to lose So when she lost, I was like, I really thought, because I think I didn't find out until the next day. Because I don't think that, I I don't think they, I don't think they, I don't think it was done until the next day. And so when I woke up and I remember I grabbed my phone and the first thing I saw was Donald Trump, the 45th president. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. You know, you get to start clearing your throat like, hold up. Now what? Girl, then you get nerves, heart start beating fast. Um, so I kind of um already prepared myself. So when I saw what went down, it really wasn't a big blow to me. Again, because I kind of was living in an you know living in a space where I felt like this could be another, you know, another, what what was that, 2016? And it is, and it was. Um, But shout out to Vice President Kamala Harris. Um, Shout out to everyone who tried to be on the right side of history. Shout out to the black women, okay? They came out, I have the numbers right here. 
um, they came out of 91% of uh, black women voted for um, Harris, 7% did not. 77% um, of black men voted for Harris, 21% did not. Um, Latino men, 43% voted for um, Harris, 55% did not. 60% of Latino women voted for Harris, 38% did not. 48% um, all other races, it says, voted for blue and 46 did not. And then the girls who really, girl, pulled a stunt in a show. Girl, I want to give a shout out to the white women who act like they got a little bit of sense. Shout out to y'all, okay? Um, shout out to the white women who support my channel. But girl, y'all need to go talk to y'all sisters, <laughs> okay? Girl, y'all need to go talk to y'all sisters, okay? Because y'all did a whole bunch of hollering and screaming down there to the to the, to the white woman for, for Harris rally. And then when y'all got y'all white asses in that booth, honey, y'all did an old switcheroo, okay? So they said 53% voted red and 45% voted um for uh voted blue and then 37% of white men voted blue and then 60% voted red. White people, honey. And then let me tell you something. I I'm really trying to keep this 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 part of the video light and not make it too heavy. But when they start shipping off y'all cousins, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. When they start shipping off y'all cousins, Guadalupe, Jesus, girl, Javier, Miss Madrida, Miss Guadalupe, Rosa, girl, when they start shipping y'all cousins off, I don't want to hear it. I'm going to be busy that day. I ain't going to have nothing to say. I don't see nothing. I don't hear nothing. He already said the first day he's shipping y'all asses out of here. <laughs> okay. If you're not documented, you got to go. <laughs> okay, you're gone. So if you voted for Trump and you got and you got some kin folk over here who ain't got no business over here, according to them, when they start shipping their asses off, we don't want to hear it. I know I don't. Forty-six percent of people, all other races. It, that means people of color, from what I understand. <laughs> okay. Everybody else. Shout out to <laughs> the Latino men and women who try to do right. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the black people who try to do right. Shout out to the white people who try to do right. But y'all need to go talk. Y'all need to go have y'all need to go have a meeting. <laughs> okay. Because I'm done. <laughs> Girl, I don't have nothing else to say. I don't have nothing else to do with me. I'm just gonna try to mind my business for the next four years. I pray to God. <laughs> Girl, girl, I pray to the universe, honey. Cause God just need I just need the universe to just watch over girl, watch over us. And you know, I just I I you know I'm I'm gonna try try to, you know, remain or become hopeful. <laughs> okay. Um but I, I think that we may be in for a bumpy ride. I don't want to, you know, like I said, I don't want to, you know, make this too sad. I think we may be in for a bumpy ride. Um, again, shout out to Vice President uh, Kamala Harris. Um, I really, you know, I, I wanted, I wanted this to happen. I really, really did. 
I just, I was over here getting my outfits. <laughs> Remember when I said, baby, I was about to come stomping through DC? Girl, y'all did not. Girl, I already had my hotel. I had my hotel already, um, already booked. Now, I, you know, I wasn't going to be in DC. I was going to be, what, what was my hotel at? It was somewhere in Maryland or Virginia. You know, it's like, the, you know, the DMV. But it wasn't, it wasn't the D. I had to, you know, the, you know they were trying to get them, they were trying to goop the kids. Yeah. I said a thousand dollars, girl. I ain't got no thousand. So I had to, I had to uh, book a hotel about thirty minutes outside of the city. <laughs> okay, you, you got to do what you got to do. You got, you got to do what you got to do. You know, with the money that you got, right? Um, so I had to, you know, I had to do what I could do with the money that I got. Girl, we're not going broke over no DC. Um, but now, girl, I get to, you know, <laughs> I ain't even got to worry about spending the money because I'm not going. So. I canceled my hotel um, really early this morning. As soon as I made that video, I went ahead and canceled my hotel. <laughs> I said, well, girl, you know, I ain't going. I hadn't booked my flight yet, thank God. But I was over here really trying to, like, think about the outfits that I was going to put together, you know, <laughs> just in case some of y'all, <laughs> yeah, if I said y'all, just in case some of y'all, through some parties and y'all was gonna invite me. I was gonna come swing through. I was gonna come swing through. Hey y'all, my name is Rodney. <laughs> okay, I was invited by one of the cousins. I don't, I don't. You know, they said they they invited me and I said I'm gonna come through. So I was getting right, I was trying to get my outfits together and you know, just 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 be cute in DC. I was over here looking. I was over. You know, you know, starting to have some cute clothes. Forever 21, believe it or not, believe it or not, Forever 21, I don't know who is designing the clothes at Forever 21 now, but they have some cute, just some cute, some cute pieces, cute, um, inexpensive. We don't like to say cheap. <laughs> That's tacky. It's always say inexpensive. Um, they have some very um, inexpensive, um, affordable, <laughs> okay? Pieces you can choose from, fashionable pieces, inexpensive, affordable, fashionable pieces you can choose from at Forever Twenty One. Um, but yeah, I was over here on H and M. You know, I'd already had this coat that I had bought from Zara that I had that I have never worn. I was gonna come stomping through <laughs> DC in that one. I was trying to find me a cute pair of tennis shoes, <laughs> right? Something I could walk around in just in case. Because I didn't know if I was going to go to the inauguration. I was going to be down there to really party. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't know if I had made up my mind or not whether I was going to go to the inauguration. So I was over here trying to find me some cute little tennis shoes, right, that I could throw on and be comfortable and all that stuff. But now, it's not going to happen. Anyways, so yeah, that's that. Uh, let's go ahead and move on all right so this is according to the jasmine brand so dr dre uh judge dismisses marriage counselor's request for a restraining order oh baby listen to this not only did i girl kind of got scammed kind of didn't out of four hundred dollars girl why i lost my ipad <laughs> girl oh my god this is a mess it says that it's at the airport still it says that it's still at the airport so I'm going to go tomorrow. I was going to go today, but it was too late. It was like 5 o'clock and it was going to be traffic. It was going to take me like an hour to get there. Um, and so I said I was going to try to wake up early tomorrow. As soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to take a melatonin. And I'm going to go there early tomorrow because it says it's still at the airport. So I'm hoping someone, you know, girl, you know, saw it. And I thought I put my iPad when... Me, my mama, and my two sisters got off the plane. I said, I, I walked to the side because I had my, I had a carry-on bag, I had my backpack, and I had my purse. <laughs> okay, I had my man bag. And I had my cell phone. I thought I had my iPad too. And I was like, hold on. Because I remember stopping and putting the iPad in my backpack and then zipping, and then I zipping the backpack up. And I put the backpack on my shoulder. So I could, you know, and then I put my bag over and I had my suit, my uh, suitcase. And then I get home and I'm taking, trying to be responsible and start taking stuff out of my bags and stuff. 
And I was looking for my iPad because I like to read, read, you know, my hot topics from my iPad sometimes. And I'm like, where's my iPad? And I'm like, what, what, what's, what's going on? And so sometimes when people call, you know, sometimes people FaceTime you, I guess if your iPad, if all your devices are connected, I don't know. Anyway, sometimes like when my nieces call me or my sister FaceTime, FaceTimes me, my iPad will ring. And so I text my sister and told her to call FaceTime me to see if my iPad was going to ring. Anyway, so I went to find me, and it says my app. It says my iPad is still at the airport. So I don't know. I'm gonna go there tomorrow and see if my iPad is still there because I I need my iPad. Hello, girl. It's been a it's, it, what to the devil is busy. <laughs> the devil is busy, girl. We got that white man, that convicted felon, girl. About to go back to office. Girl, I done got, girl, I, I done got, got, got out of $400, girl, and I lost my iPad. Oh, baby, the devil is working overtime. Him, his wife, and his mistress. Hello? So anyways, let me go back to this. Now I can't even see. This is why I like my iPad. All right. I just had it. <clears throat> let me find it. Where is it at? I don't want to handle, yeah, 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 yeah. Put your lips on the hips, it's only like a good time. I know that's right. Come on, Beyonce. No, I still don't like Cowboy Corn. I just like some of the songs. Hello? Okay, here we go. So a judge ruled that Dr. Dre's text messages to his former marriage counsel were not threatening enough for a restraining order. Girl. Although Dr. Charles Sophie was previously granted a temporary restraining order against Dr. Dre, a judge decided on Tuesday, November the 5th, that there was not enough evidence that Dr. Dre was actually threatening him. So Sophie's request for a permanent restraining order was denied. Dr. Charles Sophie submitted the text messages from Dr. Dre as evidence. One of them read, uh, one of them reads, according to TMZ, you effing with the wrong one. Dr. Dre added in another message, what, what happened, Doc? I thought you wanted to talk. Cat got your tongue? You're going to have to give me a written apology. If not, I'm moving forward. I'm not playing. Trust me. Dr. Dre, who was previously ordered to stay 100 yards away from him, also texts Dr. Uh, Dr. Charles Sophie, hey, doc, or whatever um, the F you're pretending to be, just know this. I'm not going anywhere until you explain to me why you try to talk and talk, and then it says redacted name, into saying negative things about me to the media. You're a piece of ish. Dr. Dre previously called him out um, for malpractice, alleging the counselor turned his children against him and his divorce from his wife, Nicole. What are your thoughts on Dr. Dre's win? Comments, let us know. Honey, I mean, based off of the fact that Dr. Dre, we, we know that Dr. Dre don't like to keep his sense to himself. He'll knock a bitch head between a wash and a dry in a heartbeat. And then you got, you got his ex-wife over there saying that he pulled out an Uzi on her. <laughs> okay, a bang bang. So, I mean, I guess we'll find. I guess we'll find out if he did something to him. If the doctor body come floating in a fucking river somewhere, you know that's the only time they care about people. You gotta be your body gotta come up missing. You gotta be found in a river. Okay. I don't put nothing past Dr. Dre. Your kids, turning your kids against you. Girl, your kids are your kids are grown. You acting like your kids are two and three. <laughs> you okay? Your kids know your history. Your kids can read. They know who their daddy is. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. This is a little housewife tea. Uh, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City alum Monica Garcia ordered to pay $35, $35,000 to Heather Gay's beauty lab over unpaid lip injection bill. So Monica Garcia is facing a hefty bill after a Utah judge ruled in favor of Heather Gay's Beauty Lab, ordering the former Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star to pay $35,853.60 for an unpaid lip injection bill. A lawsuit filed by Beauty Lab last year claims Garcia failed to pay for cosmetic services she received in 2023. The ruling includes $2,000 for the service, an additional 30, I mean, an additional $1,683.62 in prejudgment interest and over $31,000 in attorney's fees. <laughs> and y'all know Monica was poor. 
So, you know, she more than likely, she ain't got no $35,000. She was over there. <laughs> okay. Monica was over there living in a starter home, renting cars. Hello. She had a chime card. Ain't nothing wrong with a chime card. I'm just saying. The judge also approved future collection costs at an 18% uh, interest rate. In court documents, Garcia's attorney, Larry Reed, expressed dissatisfaction, dissatisfaction, dissatisfaction with the ruling, calling the attorney's fees greatly excessive. However, the judge denied the request, and Reed has vowed to appeal the decision. The drama started when Beauty Lab sued Garcia for breach of contract after she didn't pay for, pay for treatments. In return, Garcia countersued, claiming the lip and nose injections were botched and didn't give the desired result. Share your thoughts below. Honey, she should have paid her $2,000. Huh. Y'all not in, I never too much cared for Monica as a housewife. She might be cool. Monica always gave me Jersey, Jersey Shore tea. Jersey, Jersey Shore, she a dog. Big Brother, that's that's the type of reality TV Monica needs to be on. Monica wasn't Monica wasn't housewife T to me. She just wasn't. Sorry, I, I you know what it is. I hate, even though I know it's not that way. I hate that the housewife show has become a show where the women have become relatable. The housewives should, should it was supposed to be a show. We were not supposed to be able to relate to the women behind the gates because only a certain percentage of people live behind the gates. <laughs> when they started letting the girls come on and they ain't got no money and they poor and they couldn't even, and the thing is, Nene and the other girls in Atlanta didn't have money, but they tried to fake it until they made it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. She ain't on the show no more. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Heather. All right, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good night. Bye, y'all.